This is one of the first carbon negative homes in the world. What you see here is a cement wall that's currently, as we speak, breathing in CO2. That's former NBA star Rick Fox, who gave me a virtual tour of one of the first homes that's already been built. He and his carbon neutral cement company, Partana, are collaborating with the government of the Bahamas to build 1,000 of these homes on the island, which according to the company, are able to withstand extreme weather and can absorb as much CO2 as 5,000 mature trees. This matters because concrete production is responsible for 8-9% to of global CO2 emissions. In fact, building a single new home can generate the same amount of CO2 that 12 homes produce in one year of right regular energy use. And while it's true that all cement naturally removes some CO2 from the air through a process called carbonation, Pratana wants to increase the amount and speed at which its cement absorbs CO2. Pratana claims a 1,250 square foot home built with its cement will remove approximately 182 metric tons of CO2. The company is even able to avoid producing emissions during construction because its mixing process doesn't require energy intensive carbon capture and storage. We were able to say that we're the only entity in the world that can do that right now. The way Pratana is able to do this comes down to how its cement is made. It's produced by upcycling and mixing waste materials like flakes from the steel industry and brine from the desalination industry into the product, so there's less virgin material going into it. The rest is attributed to very technical chemistry. Now, in addition to removing carbon from the atmosphere, this building material is ideal for regions that face hurricanes or intense flooding like the Bahamas. The impetus of this home that we're sitting in right here was born out of survival and necessity. When salt and seawater interact with traditional cement, there's a chemical reaction that occurs which actually makes the cement weaker over time. Rick said that's not the case with Partana cement because of that special mix. Our mix has a brine component. So when it engages with salt water, i.e. say flooding from storms, uh, our material actually gets stronger. When it comes to cost, Rick said Partana cement is actually on par with traditional cement. And even though they're just getting started, there's already a demand around the world. Based on Pertana's projections, it's looking to remove 182,600 metric tons of CO2 for the initial 1,000 homes collectively. That's like offsetting the annual emissions of 23,014 US homes. More importantly, these houses will allow local residents to live in resilient homes in regions that are at the forefront of the climate crisis. It's going to put citizens who have been displaced not only back into homes, but into homes that are more sustainable, stronger, and can resist the level of storms that we're gonna be facing going forward here.